At the moment, I seem to wake up at 7 a.m. pretty wired every morning, which is definitely a feature of pre-departure adrenaline and emotion. There has been quite a lot of preparation to do uh, by way of packing all the food up, testing things, getting out rowing and things, putting things away, tinkering with this and that, etc. And then training body as well, getting my body kind of into the rowing zone, out of the biking zone, and trying to sort out all the damage that I've created along the way in my various joints and muscles, etc. <laughs> At the moment, there's nothing in the weather forecast for the next week that shows like it's a good option for getting out to sea. Ideally, I need three days of clear weather and nothing too strong behind it that's going to push me back into land. Once I set off, it's going to be about three or four months of rowing to get back home. I've put enough food for four and a half months, slightly reduced rations at the end, but I don't think I'm going to starve out there. I've got quite a lot of food on board. Hot chocolate powder, granola bars, a tin of German sausage, um, baked beans, a bit of cake. On previous trips, I've had seasickness in the first few days, tried having a protein shake, the protein shake comes back up and it then means I cannot stomach protein shakes for the rest of the trip. So this time I'm avoiding protein until I feel happy and safe to do so. And in my first days of vomiting, what I'm going to be concentrating on is uh, the Ritz biscuit, basically dry nothingness, and then apple sauce and tinned fruit and, and ginger biscuits. It's actually not a bad diet really, is it? But ginger's supposed to be good for seasickness and it's just, it's stuff that doesn't bother you when it comes back up. Because I'm going to paint that deck with vomit. I feel all sorts of different things about going across the ocean and going home. To think about going home is really special because I've been away a long time. I've missed a lot of stuff in my family and friends' lives and I'm so up for being a part of that again in real life, not just virtually now. Going home to Lucy, you know, my life has changed hugely since meeting her. So I'm excited to be home for all of those things and to be with Lucy again, but I'm also very mindful that the ocean is a big place. The North Atlantic Ocean is a rough place and there's no guarantees about what sort of ride I'm going to have out there. Thinking back to the tropical storm in the Pacific in 2012, those were the scariest days of my life. All that trauma and adrenaline and crazy stuff is still in me, it's always going to be in me and I'm, I hope that I don't have to go through that again out at sea on this, this row. If it's conditions where I need to be strapped in most of the time but from time to time I'm going to risk peeing, then I can pee into this bottle <laughs> and being an extendable bottle, I can lie down and pee into this and it's only gone wrong a couple of times. And then what I'll do is I'll sort of time it, chuck it outside as an empty it outside and close the door really quickly and just get it back in. So it ends up being pretty stinky in here because obviously you do get wee all over the place and I've, I've had times where wee has literally gone everywhere. <laughs> and for going... Going for a number two in those conditions, you just really can't do it sometimes. So you have to just limit what you eat so that you're not going to need to go and use the bucket. It's very hard to find a little boat out at sea. I've got a satellite phone system and I've also got um, an emergency beacon which I can fire off if it was to be a life-threatening situation where I was in immediate and grave danger, then that tells my team at home that Sarah needs picking up. Everything that's happened to get to this point is, it's, it's so many things, it's almost too hard to put into words. The stories and adventures that have happened along the way and all the people that I've met and the way that so many people have helped make it happen, have believed in my journey and the whole experience has just been humbling and brilliant and beautiful. It's been such a cool chapter of my life and it's not even over yet.
Like my gums are only this big and to row faster into rubbish weather they'd need to be about this big and that's going to take another three weeks to get like that. So it's just not going to happen this year. <laughs> <laughs> You name the fish, yes. Do you think I'm sad because I talked to fish? <laughs> yes! Yes, I need to update my will. <laughs> That's been on my to do list for years actually.